welcome welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be going house shopping so we're going to be looking at a couple different houses and i'm going to decide which one i want at the end of this video okay so i just finished getting ready and i got leah ready may is currently at her dad's house but i literally cannot wait to get a new car because this is not going to work for the type of family i have but i'm going to get her in the car so she's in her car seat and yeah so we're going to be driving to our first house and we'll see you guys when we get there Okay, so I just arrived at the house. It's so pretty on the outside. I can't wait to see what it looks like on the inside. So I'm just going to park the car like right here. I also brought the stroller with me because I don't want to be carrying Leah around. So I want to get that out of the trunk. So now we're going to go and tour the house. I literally cannot wait to see what it looks like. I hope it's like really pretty on the inside because the outside is already really gorgeous. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. So we have the entrance right here. Really cute. I feel like it's really spacious right here. Next, we have the living room area, which I actually really like because like anyone can come over. There's there's enough space for everyone to sit and there's a huge fireplace which I absolutely love. Then we have the kitchen over here which I love. It's so spacious. I feel like it's good for when you have company over or family over. So this is actually the laundry room. It's kind of tight in here but I feel like this would be ideal for when I have to do laundry and stuff so I feel like it'll work for now. And then here we have the garage which is really big. I actually really like the garage because there's a lot of lighting in here. And it's big to fit more than at least two cars, so I'm very surprised with that. Heading back over in the kitchen area, we have the dining area, which I actually like the accent walls. Like how it's a different color than like the living room, the kitchen, because... So here's the first room, and I'm assuming this is like a guest room or something. It's pretty big to be like a master, but it's actually pretty ideal for when people are here, so I actually like that. And I'm assuming this is the bathroom, which is actually pretty big for someone to be staying here and i love the marble over here it's really pretty so this house so far i actually really like across from this room is another room Ooh, i really like this this is really big i like how spacious and i like how huge it is like it's kind of big <laughs> for a one person room and then we have we actually have three different windows which is good to let natural light in and then we have the bathroom which i really like i like the shower how it's walked in and then the bathroom everything is just perfect and then this actually leads to the backyard this is actually pretty cool i did not know that door was for the backyard and then you can just see from the living room and then we're gonna get to that side of the house next so this backyard is actually pretty big there's a sitting area there's actually a grill and cooking area over here which i actually really like so coming from the bathroom we're back in the kitchen and this is basically the whole interior from the kitchen and so on so over here is the office which i actually really like it's very like simple and very versatile so then over here we have another bedroom which is the master um this is actually really big i like how it's not too small but it's actually not that big which i like it's actually really perfect at least for me and then we have the bathroom, which I'm so obsessed with. The closets, the two walk-in closets are my favorite by far, this house. Like, I'm very shocked. And then over here is the bathroom. I like how the toilet is separated from everything else. And I like how the bath is just in the middle. It's kind of just like the main feature of the bathroom, which I like. And then we still have the walk-in shower. Then I feel like it's big enough. I like how there's two double vanities in the bath. And then you still get the walk-in shower, which, you know, most people would want. And then not only that, but you get the two walk-in closets, which, which I was actually not thinking of. But it's actually very nice to have that. Okay, so now out of the master bedroom, I'm just so in love with this house so far. I can't wait to see more houses though. But this was the first house. I really love the kitchen. And I just feel like it's like really good for our type of family. And then over here we have the entrance. Behind that we have the office which I really like. So I'm really pleased with this house. Hopefully the next house could be better because this house I will say was a little not around my price range one and two it's not really in my style i would want something more minimalistic something more simple than all the excess colors so now we're gonna go toward the next house okay so we've arrived at the next house this is more of a family type home it's really modern on the outside i just cannot wait to see what the inside looks like but so far i'm loving the outside okay so this is the front entrance of the house when you 
they come around the house we have the door the doorbell we have different type of material like the bricks that's the paneling and everything like that so this is the main entrance this is the office area which i actually really like the bookshelves like i actually like the bookshelves like on the wall rather than like sticking out i really like that and then over here is the living room i really like the living room it's a little tight right here but this is the kitchen then we have this door which is the laundry room i actually really like the laundry room it's quite bigger than the other one which i like because i like more space rather than tightness in the house so this is the garage i really like the garage it's really big and spacious actually it's kind of the same size as the other house but a little bit bigger over here is the kitchen we have the fridge kitchen necessities and stuff like that i don't really like how dark the kitchen is i like more of the lighter colors not really the darker ones and over here we have the pantry where you just store everything all your foods and stuff then you have a little view to the backyard which i actually kind of like the backyard is a little plain for my preference kind of like if there was more like style to it i guess but it's the backyard at the same time so i mean what are you gonna get from that and we have the master bedroom on the main floor and i actually kind of like the master this house actually has potential to it so i may come back to it then we have the toilet we have the shower again we have the bathtub and the double sinks which i love and then that's it for the master okay so heading upstairs this is what the second floor plan looks like we have the first bedroom is this a nursery if this is a nursery i'm literally gonna scream because this is so cute i really like how cute the nursery is um but for me with two twins it's not gonna work because there's only one bed in here so i don't really know how that's gonna go but other than that this room is actually really adorable next room is this room right here this is a bathroom and i actually kind of like the bathroom it's different from what i've seen so i don't know this is the next room which i actually really love it's just like a girl's room with the makeup the bed the lamp everything is just perfect and i like how there's a window right to the backyard so you can get some sunlight and just a view of the house last door we have upstairs is the guest room i don't really know what to call this i guess it could be like an extra room but you also have like that same window in the other room where you have like the view of the backyard and stuff like that so honestly this house has like a lot of potential i'm not saying it's a bad house but i just don't know if it fits my needs so i'll come back to it okay so this is the next house this one is actually pretty huge exterior this is actually really pretty i really like how the outside looks i really like how big it is and i just can't wait to see what the inside looks like so let's go inside the house okay so this is the front door i'm absolutely obsessed like that's so cute so this is the entrance this is like a little chilling area i'm assuming but i really like how it's like separated from the living room because i feel like if it was all you know squished together it wouldn't really look right the wall where i could put all the family pictures i literally cannot wait this house might be the one i'm not sure yet we have the kitchen the kitchen's actually bigger than i've imagined so far the sink is literally separated from the countertops and everything else and the cabinets the cabinets look so real like this looks like a house in real life so this is the dining room it's pretty big for when we have family over okay so this is the other like area of the house i really like this it's really big i like the accent wall so this is the bathroom i really like the bathroom and then over here is the toilet but i'm really surprised with the bathroom like the bathroom is really you know spacious and then we have the backyard this is really pretty i really like this um it's kind of tight but it'll work for now i guess and it's like in the master bedroom so i feel like it won't be that big of a deal then we have the huge amazing walk-in closet which i can't get my eyes off of because i've been eyeing this house for a while now so on to the next part of the house we have another area i think over here so let's check that out okay so this is another area over here is the pantry i don't know if i showed you guys that over here we have the laundry room which is kind of tight again i don't know how i'm gonna work with this but i feel like it'll work just for now until like we can find something else that can help us out and then over here is the garage oh my gosh that is so perfect look at this i love the windows because it makes the garage look extra good <laughs> so then we have this door which oh this actually leads back to outside so it's kind of like an emergency exit in a way we can go upstairs because we haven't been up there yet okay so this is the upstairs low-key obsessed so we have a balcony up here i was told by the realtor that there was going to be extra you know like chilling space and then we have another office which i actually kind of like upstairs because you know it's far away from the kitchen the living room and then we have a nursery i literally am speechless with the nurseries in these houses like they're just so cute so then we have another room over here which is an i guess this is a kid's room 
I'm assuming. Then we have this bathroom, which is a little different. So it's kind of like the shower, the toilet, like the sinks are sectioned off into like one place. But I love the backsplash. Like this tiling is amazing. Like I really like it. So we have another door, which leads to another room. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so that's it for the bedrooms. I guess it's a Jack and Jill bedroom because I the bathrooms are connected that's it for the house it's kind of my type of style like it's dark but then there's also some neutral colors which i was looking for and i'm really obsessed with like the entrance so we can have all our family pictures right here it's time for me to decide which house i really want to okay so it is the next day and i'm so excited to say that i picked the last mansion house i'm so excited that i picked this house because it was one of my dream houses for so long so i've gone with this house we are going to start moving and packing everything up today so stay tuned for next week's video because it's going to be truly amazing so that wraps up today's video hope you guys enjoyed seeing us go house hunting and picking the house so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye